A Nigerian federal high court orders Shoa Ray's release, and it seems the 2023 elections are starting early as campaign posters have begun making rounds. This is PLOS Politics, and I am Felicity Ezewiki. It seems the winds have begun to blow in favor of Omoyele Shoare, the convener of Revolution Now protest, as Justice Taiwo Taiwo of the Federal High Court in Abuja has ordered his release from the custody of the Department of State Services immediately. Even though Justice Tanko Mohammed, the Chief Justice of Nigeria, has said that his administration will not tolerate the disobedience of binding court orders, we wonder if this order will be adhered to or be disobeyed. With me to talk about this is a legal practitioner, Tunji Abdul Hamid. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. It's my pleasure to be here. Glad you could join us. Okay. We talked about this yesterday a bit, the new charges that have been leveled against him. And today, the court has ordered that he be released immediately. Do you see a compliance to this order or are we likely to witness a Dasuki scenario? Uh, it's a dicey situation. I went regards to the pronouncement of the CGN yesterday. You know, the CGN yesterday said uh, it will no longer tolerate uh, this opposition to cause court order by any agency or even the federal government or anybody. Well, I, I, I think I went regards to the circumstances of this case. I will not be surprised if uh, it's not released. But is, is, will it be a test of that yeah, it, it is a big test. Okay. It is a big test because I'll be waiting for, for what the CGN will do if uh, the other is not obeyed. But I, I think probably they may want to release him and again maybe by this week or next week f take him to court again for, uh, for proper uh, arraignment. You know, they say they, they have the order already prepared and the information already has been the prepared. Charges, yeah. And then they, they were waiting for, for the IS pet that they'll have charged him to court before today. If he has been charged to court before today, they will have... The, the defense would have done maybe bring an application for a bail that would have been argued or adjourned to some, some other day, but they didn't do that. It appeared they are not prepared. That, was, that, 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 that is the reason why it's, it's not there yet. Initially, I want to applaud the, the decision of the court because in the circumstance of this case, the appropriate thing to do is to say, let him go, pending when you are ready. You can't keep somebody in custody while you are still investigating whether or not he has committed offence or he has not committed offence. Yeah, that would, that would, that would be improper. So, even, the, even the initial ex parte order that was granted, I, I, I created it. It's like just asking me, uh, just go to court, say, give me, uh, give me another, I want to investigate this man. While I'm investigating him, let him be with you here. You went, that, in other words, you have not ascertained whether or not an offence has been committed before you start taking it to, to custody. But well, wouldn't I you expect that a lawyer working for the federal government of Nigeria in this instance would know better that you cannot hold somebody on charges? Or is there some law that we don't know about? They, they will say suspicion. They are, they are under suspicion. But I, I, I think, uh, to me, it's not proper. You can't be charging, you can't take somebody to court on their holding charges or on suspicion alone. When you take me to court and you don't have, an, you don't have any offense against me, in other words, you can just pick me up on, on the road and say, you, you take me to the court, get an order and detain me pending when you do your investigation. It has, it, that means it, you, are just, you, are, you don't even have anything against me at the time I was being detained. So I, I think to me, I even queried the initial order, like I said. I queried that order as part whereby the, the DSS have been allowed to detain him Hold pending him. when investigation will be concluded. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Okay, it, let's look at the scenario. At least we have some sort of relief for the family of Shore at this time. But let's look at the entire scenario from the arrest to detention to the court case. Would you describe it as, you know, something that was well thought out by the federal government, especially in a democracy, or something that may be a little high handed? Uh, you know, I've, I said it earlier on that, uh, not even today, that uh, the, to me, I'm not sure the federal government is ready to pursue any case against uh, Sowori. What they're just trying, trying, planning to do is just to detain, keep him so that that protest will not hold, which they have achieved. Uh, I think that was what they are trying to, to, to do at that time, or to even keep him in, in perpetuity, depending when the court government will leave uh, office and then they will not be able to do anything because terrorism, uh, terrorism or whatever they are charging him for now is a serious offense. And then they may say, because of that, it will not be granted bail or this and that. You know, it depends on the gravity of, the, of what they are putting before the court. The, so I was, I, my own thinking before now was that they wanted to just keep him there, pending uh, when they want to, uh, to pending when he, everything will down. 
and then they will, you know, because they, they initially asked for 90 days or so before yeah, the court, the court gave them 45 didn't give them days. Them that, so, yes. that, that, so that, that, that is, now the matter came up today, they have an application to extend the, the day, but unfortunately for them, they no, withdrew, they, they pulled, they they withdrew pulled them, yeah. the, the application. I expect, and having withdrew the application, the Lelanes seek pounce on that and take advantage of it. Look, as it is today, there is nothing before the court, there is no order to detain before the court, and in circumstance, my client should be released, and the court agree with him that he should be released immediately, and he should be, he should be released to, to Mr. Falana. And uh, whatever they, 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 they want need him, him in court, Savannah him. will have to bring him in, in, into court. I just hope they, they will be, there won't be a repeat of a uh, in uh, scenario in this circumstance. Uh, let's, I hope, let's I hope, hope so. the will, will not be drawn to another battle of a uh, producer or sort of, uh, producer uh, client. All right. What, what we're going to do, we're going to take a short break now and uh, bring in our other guests. Uh, do stay with us. This is Plus Politics. We'll be right back.